Okay, hi everybody. Um, so here we are, November 13th. I cannot believe this. You guys, we have six, six weeks, six weeks until the beginning of 2019. Which I can't even fathom. Can you even amber your face? Exactly how I feel. I'm like, that number doesn't even exist. Uh, <laughs> Here's the thing. Um, I have a transformation photo of myself from 80 Day Obsession, where I, it was the six weeks of, the first six weeks of 80 Day Obsession. And I had a big transformation in six weeks, which means that you can do a lot okay, with your personal journey in six weeks as well as your business journey in six weeks because no, not November, January 1st is like Black Friday for Beachbody. Like that's when everybody's like, oh crap. Like I just finished the holidays. I got some Christmas money. I don't fit into my pants anymore. We have to do something. So the six weeks leading up to that is when we need to, this is like, I'm trying to even think of an analogy and I can't because there isn't one. Like this is when we put the pedal down because this is when people are watching us. They may not be doing anything, but they may be sitting on the couch eating Christmas cookies in November and saying, well, I'm going to get ready to start in January. And subconsciously they're thinking, well, she's doing something now, which means in January, she's still going to be doing something. Which means she's the one who's going to be able to help me when I am ready and I need help. So this is when we need to be committed to our fitness journey. We need to be doing something every day. We need to have a before photo that we can take now and we need to have a photo in a couple of weeks that we can say, look at this progress that I've made. Look how I can help you when you're ready. And like six weeks seems like a long time, but at the same time, like it's, it's not like we're so close to the end of the year and we're so, so, so close to that time when traditionally like people's businesses pick up. Um, I had a very good year in January last year and I didn't do pretty much anything between Thanksgiving and Christmas because I just like totally fell off and I'm not doing that again this year because I could have had a much better, much, much better January and kind of carried that momentum. So this is actually a really great time to talk about rank because when you're setting goals for yourself, um, rank needs to be one of them just because that's how we grow our business. That's a benchmark in the business. When you are shooting for rank, you are also hitting some of these other benchmarks and whether or not they're benchmarks that you've set for yourself as far as like financial goals or you know growth in your own downline or some of the other Beachbody benchmarks like the leadership ladder, those are all things that tie back into rank. And actually, um, oh, let me just share with you. I don't know if you guys, no, but Josh Coates uh, has a podcast now and I've been listening to it. He's got three episodes out, but basically episode number one, like seriously sat me down and put me in my place. And episode two is about goal setting. And he talks about why we need to set goals that are so big that we basically can't achieve them. Um, and the cool thing is that he actually does interviews with coaches that he not even interviews like it's like live coaching sessions that he puts on his podcast and this is like it's not clips from their coaching session it's like he gets them on as he's recording for the podcast and he talks about you know different things my dog is whining um but what he talked about it in goal setting is when you set goals that are so big shh can you go lay down what um, when you set goals that are so big that you just, you don't reach them, that means that you're constantly, constantly, constantly pushing. And the harder you push to hit this goal that you feel like you're never reaching, you are hitting these different, like you're making growth in your business. And so the girl that he interviewed, she was saying, and I don't know what her goal was, and I don't even know if she was with Beachbody or not, but she was saying that she has this goal 
And every year for the last three years, she's tried to hit it. And every year she's fallen flat on her face and she's failed at this goal. And so he said to her, okay, tell me your first year, like what was your average monthly income? And she's like, well, it was like probably a couple hundred dollars. And he's like, okay. And now what is your average monthly income? And she's like, well, mm -hmm. it's like, it's $5,000 or so every month. And he's like, and you're telling me that you feel like a failure because you haven't hit this one goal that you set for yourself. And, and like the point he was trying to make is when you push yourself and you stretch yourself for goals that are so big that you truly feel like they're completely outrageous and you can never reach them, you are going to grow yourself and you're going to grow your business in the process. And it's not, you know, it's, those things are going to be a byproduct of reaching for this huge goal. And when you hit the huge goal, that's great, but you're also going to hit these goals um, along the way that maybe, you know, are important to you. Like if you want to, you know, leave your full-time job or whatever, and you need to make a certain amount of money, like that's all part of it. But the way to stretch yourself constantly and push yourself is to set these big goals and rank needs to be one of them. So before we get into that, um, let's quickly go around and do goals. Um, so Amber, I have you are, let me make sure that's the right page. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So Amber, your goals for last week, your two business goals were, um, sign up one, um, personally sponsored working coach. Um, two was be consistent in your posts. And then your personal goal was to do some yoga or another like low impact program. How did you do on your goals? I'm going to say I gave, I'm going to give myself like a C, like I'm not even going to bullshit. Um, I did, I did pretty good with being consistent with posting. Um, I, I struggled a bit with actually posting business related posts because I'm struggling really hard right now with some stuff that's going on with me. Um, and that ties into my personal, like I still have not, um, figured out anything exercise wise. We're pretty sure I saw the doctor. We're pretty sure I tore my rotator's cuff. So now I get to go do a bunch of imaging to find out if I need to have surgery on my shoulder. And I, I don't know why I'm like giving, giving myself this like mental block. Like, like, I feel like I can't get into anything exercise wise because of this. And I know it's bullshit. And, um, I know that it's an excuse. Um, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to mount that hurdle right now. Um, uh, but I've been having a hard time posting about business related stuff because I can't seem to get myself over this, this hump of, you know, I need to be a product of the product. I've done it. I mean, I've got progress photos and, and proof that, you know, it can be done. I just... I don't know. I'm getting inside my own head and I need to stop. Um, I did sign on a discount coach that is kind of like on the fence about actually working the business. Um, but she gave me a, a, a text today. She's super, super excited about getting the ball rolling on her fitness journey. Um, so I am encouraging her to like share her like progress and whatnot. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can't kind of just like gently like guide her into coaching without her even realizing that she's doing it. She would be perfect for the business. And she watched um, me when I was like in the height of mine and really, you know, was like, that is so cool. Um, I think she's just got fierce. She's afraid to do it. Um, and with me as her uh, example, I could see why. <laughs> So I like, I need to get my head out of my ass for more than just the sake of me. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I need to get over this mental block that I've got right now. You can do it. What are your goals for next week? Uh, goals for next week um, is to continue um, with consistency, doing all of my four vitals, not just my posting. Um, uh, so four vital behaviors every day. Um, my second um, is going to be to uh, just keep reaching back into my um, follow-ups. I'm getting so much traction with my follow-ups. Um, 
and uh, I just need to be more consistent with with that. I've actually had conversations where I was like talking to somebody about something and they're like, you know, get back to me in a few weeks. And then because I communicate with so many people every day, like I lost track of them and it's from not having a good tracking system in place. And then um, my personal goal is going to be to get my head out of my ass with my workouts. I'm drinking my shakes and I'm, you know, making healthier decisions food wise, but um, I just, I, I need to get my head out of my butt with my workouts because all in all, like people, um, that's what they want to see. I mean, as much as, as important as Shakeology is and all of that kind of stuff, like they want to see that they can work out and, and eat healthier and lose weight. And that Shakeology is just a bonus on top of that. So I need to be, I need to be working on that. Exactly. Do you have um, a number goal for your follow-ups for the week or just, you just need to? I shoot for um, doing five follow-ups a day. Okay. Yeah. So I need that. That's part of the consistency too. Like I need to, I'll, when I sit down and do them, I knock them out, but I need to do them every day. Awesome. Okay. Christina. Um, your goals last week were, um, to make a paycheck, um, to make healthier choices every day and to take it one day at a time. How'd you do? I did good. My dad's shakes went out. So like I got that pay or whatever, but he's saying that he thinks like it messes with his stomach or whatever. So he's like, Oh, I want to cancel it or whatever. But I'm going to get him back into it because I'm getting back into it. So I know like he'll see me so I could get him into it. So he's not canceling. He will be on hold, but it still went out and I still got it. Um, my food choices, they're getting healthier. They're not like still a hundred percent, but then again, I'm still on like 45 milligram of the prednisone, which is still so much, but I'm coming down. So I feel like my food choices are coming down with that, but I know it's like not necessarily me all the time. So, and I am taking it one day at a time. And like, I'm feeling I'm starting to get better with everything. And I decided that I'm probably just gonna leave work and like do this and focus on me because obviously like something's wrong if this cycle just keeps repeating that like I'm healthy, I go to work, I get sick and then have to stop or whatever. Like it's not worth it to put myself through that. So that's probably like coming to works, but I have this. So, and I've been, since I've been taking one at a time, I've been like doing, I mean, I feel like I've been killing my Instagram stories. Like I've nearly doing like over 10 a day just because like every little thing, but I'm also getting a lot of interaction too on it. So it's like paying off. So, but that way too, like it's keeping me busy and showing people like that. I'm still going and all that. So I feel like I'm starting to get rolling awesome. and I'm I mean like okay yeah I'm still like in pain and everything but I feel like this is a distraction from it so whatever I don't know if you guys can see can you see my dog right here no she's like she's not allowed in the kitchen so she lays there and just whines at me <laughs> sorry to interrupt okay what are your goals for next week um, so far since like I'm putting at least like five hours, like that's been working. So I'm going to get that, like stick with that one for the business. And also like, um, like an old, like childhood friend, we used to hang out with my mom right into whatever. And we started talking yesterday and she was, she so, asked me about working out. So like now I'm talking to her about beach body and she's like all excited and everything like that. So she's probably going to sign up and be an active coach too, which is good. Um, and then I also put to connect more with people with beach body, like to basically be more like a little aggressive with the business and like start putting for like, I'm going to steal your idea too. Um, like with the paid challenge group next month. So that way, like it gets my business going and it gets the people going. Cause like awesome. no more. And then, um, for my personal goal, since my list of excuses, I never finished lift four. So I figured since I haven't worked out 
but I don't want to like push myself. I'm going to do that since it's only four workout days. So, but I, so I put that for my personal, I'm actually going to finish it this time. Awesome. So I'm excited. Very good. Megan, do you want to go or do you want me to do mine and then you can think on yours? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I muted you. Go ahead. <laughs> I can go. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, so for my goals for next week, I want to start posting again because I honestly, I haven't posted at all. Like nothing. Not about life, not about Beachbody. Um, and I feel like that's mostly because like I've been so inconsistent. Like I'll do a workout here, I'll do a workout there. But like, I'm not, like I started lift four when it came out, but like I didn't follow through. And like, I don't know if it was because it was four days and like it threw me off or um I've just been super tired lately, but I am also training for a marathon. So I need to be working out six days a week, including running. Um, so I want to start posting again. And then I want to start conversations with people again. Um, Cause I haven't really talked to anyone. Do you have a goal? Um, so I probably have a few people that, um, I mean, what's a good, what's a good number? Like you can to start, start with like you know, three to five a day. Or, okay, so I mean, five. I, would to, say, if you, I mean, ten would be amazing. Like three to five okay. is a good start that would you know get you back into it. Okay, so I'd say five, like to start with. Um, and then for my personal goal, I want to continue to get my workouts done. I started Insanity yesterday. Original Insanity, love awesome. it. I missed it so much. <laughs> um. And to continue like making healthy food choices because I feel like lately we've just been, I mean, as a family, we haven't been eating good and we've just been kind of eating whatever. So I feel like I've been so far this week, I know it's only Tuesday, but we've been making healthier choices. And even if everyone else isn't making healthy choices, I've been making healthier choices. Awesome. So great. Thank you. Okay. So mine last week were, um, okay. I was going to invite 25 people to the paid group. I was going to sign one business building coach and I was going to be in bed by nine 30, three nights this week. So I did, I invited, I actually invited 35 people to the paid group for last week. Um, or I invited 35 people last week to the paid group for December. Um, I did not sign a business building coach. Um, and I was in bed two out of my, what dog? Go lay down. Oh my God. Um, I was in bed by nine thirty two nights this week. Um, so I I need to work on that. That is like a big thing. I'm gonna re I'm gonna redo two of these. You know what? Actually, I'm just gonna redo all of these goals because I'll, I need to. I, this is I think this is my thing for this week again. Except I'm going to up it to 35. Um, so my goals are 30, 35 invites to paid, um, then one business coach, and in bed by 9.30, three nights this week. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about rank. Okay, so I'm just gonna start at the beginning. Um, I'm gonna share my screen, even though I'm only showing. <laughs> um, hold on, where's my screen share? There we go, okay. Okay, this is Google, thank you Google. Okay. This is the really basic um, what you get. Like this, this is the basic rank breakdown. So when you sign up, you are a coach. When you log into the back office, it says coach. Um, in order to stay as an active coach, which is this right here, which means that you can earn commission. Um, you have to be current on your business fees and you have to be active with 50 personal volume. So Shakeology is 90, which means that if you order Shakeology every month, you are golden. Um, when you become an Emerald, what that means is you get to start the team cycle bonus, which is you get to start, um, 
utilizing the volume that you acquire from purchases either that your customers make or that anybody else in in the downline from you make so if you're if the coach who signed you up has a strong leg and they're putting people underneath you on one of your legs you're going to have a strong leg and a weak leg every time you cycle that means that you have 200 personal volume points from one leg and 100 from another leg so you're typically always going to have a strong and a weak leg because um, most of us are signed up under a coach that is hopefully building you know underneath you on one leg so you're going to cycle every time you have 200 on one side and 100 on the other when you're an emerald um Wait, you sorry. Can yeah you, i'm trying to write this down but can you just like slow down a little bit <laughs> sorry because <laughs> this stuff you, is you like can go back and, and watch the replay too are you are you subscribed to the youtube channel no Okay, um, after the post or after this, because I don't know how much time we have left and I want to get through a lot of it. Um, so after I, after we um, are off this call, I will post the link to my YouTube channel. And you, if you subscribe, then every time I load a new video in there, you'll get a notification on YouTube. Okay. Does that sound fine? Yeah. Okay. So when you cycle as an Emerald, you get paid $14 every single time that you cycle. Um, and Oh my God, I'm gonna like murder my dog. Okay, so when you, so, so that's Emerald. Um, the next rank is Ruby. Ruby is very elusive. Like people don't usually aim for Ruby because it's a little bit weird, but basically it means that you have two Emeralds underneath you and you also have, um, at least one more coach on each side um and so all of this is balanced like you have these are your legs like this is one leg this is one leg this is one leg this is one leg when you're an active ruby you have one active emerald on your left leg and one active emerald on your right leg and you have additional coaches um, when you are an active ruby your team cycle volume um, or your team cycle bonus um, goes up from 14 to $16. And, oh my God, I'm gonna, I can't, my dog, I can't. Um, it goes up to $18. And in order to stay active with, as a Ruby, you have to have um, 75 personal volume points, which means that if you're ordering Shakeology, that's great. You can not have to worry about it. Um, what happens with a lot of coaches is when they get to diamond, they will often fall back to Ruby. Um, and I'll talk about that in a second. So people do, you know, Ruby is a rank that people are at, but it's kind of an intermediary transitional rank. Um, then active diamond, um, diamond should be minimum, like, I'm not even gonna say this should be a benchmark. I mean, it should be a benchmark for you. It should be a goal for you, but it should by no means be your end goal. Go lay down. Stay. Okay. Um, so diamond. When you are a diamond coach, um, you have two, one active emerald on each side and you have three additional so these are these are coaches sorry if i didn't make that clear you have three additional personally sponsored coaches on each side that are active um you this is what a lot of people struggle with like it's it's hard to keep people as active emeralds but sometimes you might have your active emeralds but one of your other coaches will go inactive um, they won't order their Shakeology, and that means that they are not active. So you need to have three, you need, basically you need to have your two emeralds who are constantly active, and you need to have three additional on each side who are every month ordering Shakeology. So which is why you constantly need to be adding new people to your network of coaches. Um, and 
this is all aside from signing up people just as customers because they don't play into this rank at all. The only thing that you get from customers, I mean, not the only thing, like what, what you get from customers is every time they order, you get commission. But when your coaches order, you get the volume points. And then, like I was saying here, you get $14 for Emerald. Every time you cycle, you get $16 for Ruby and you get $18 every time you cycle as a diamond coach. Um, so those diamond as to stay an active diamond, you need all of these coaches under you at minimum three in addition to your emerald on each side need to be active. So you need to have a buffer of, you know, a lot of coaches because I've had, I mean, I, I, I think at one point I had like 10 or 15 like coaches on one leg and only, only, only three of them were active. So, you know, and it just kind of happens. Like people, people decide not to, they decide to. Um, okay, so that's how you get to diamond. When you are an active diamond, you actually need to maintain more than just your monthly Shakeology order. Like I know for a lot of people, they order Energize. So if you have Shakeology and Energize, you're good to go um, on home direct every month. Um, so for... I wonder if that's no, never mind. Um, so for so so again, so for diamond, when you like everybody needs to get to diamond. That is a minimum. If you want to do anything in this business, this is like the absolute bare minimum because this is essentially your jumping off point for growing your business. It's like think of it this way: it's like when you go to the pool and you have to climb up to the top of the diving board. And say you're a competitive swimmer. You, first you have to get up and climb up the diving board and wait your turn and do all the things. Then once you get, that's diamond, like that's your diamond. Then when you do your competition, that's when you jump off and you have to compete and you have to perform and you have to prove yourself when you're competing in that pool and doing whatever like breaststroke or whatever, you know, competition, whatever that you're doing in the pool, you've got to get to the diving board and that diving board is emerald. So for going forward from active diamond, um, every time you earn a star is when you grow up one additional diamond on your team. So for example, I'll take my team structure. Um, as an active diamond, I would have, so this is basically what my legs look like. Um, oh, you guys, we've had the 40 minute time limit removed in our meeting. I can go on forever. Okay. Dogs, can you just both go lay down? Night, night. Go. Oh. I'm sorry. What's going to be me yelling at my dogs all night? Okay. Um, this is exciting. Okay. So yes, Christina, I can slow down. <laughs> um, okay. So this is basically what my structure looks like. So as an active diamond, I would have my husband's account here, which is Emerald. And then I would have another personally sponsored coach. So Amber, for example, is going to be my other diamond. I'm also going to have multiple um, I'm sorry. I have to do something with this dog or I'm going to like, kill her. So talk amongst yourselves, I guess. Hold on. Girls, one of the, um, one of the things that a lot of mentioned kind of just in passing, um, that, uh, is super important once you start getting a few coaches underneath you is what she mentioned about, um, uh, your coach putting, people on your leg, you can do that. You can actually go into your coaching um, back office and you can select what leg you want um, your next coach to be on. Mm -hmm. And so I'm under Alana, so she can actually go and put her next placement under one of my legs and she can choose not just on what side for her, but on what side for me as well, where she wants to place her next coach. So that actually can affect, um, you know, several, if you've got more than one coach underneath you, it can affect, um, their, uh, volume points as well. Kept it busy, Alana. Sorry. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Oh my God. 
I don't even know what her deal is. And I can't put her in the bedroom because I, her, I had to wash their beds and their beds are not made. And so their beds are not in the bedroom and they'd just be in there whining. Okay. Don't get dogs, anybody, ever. <laughs> They're annoying. <laughs> okay, kidding. So, um, my a, stepped on my hair when I was working out, <laughs> and he pulled it. And he pulled it. <laughs> okay, so active diamond. So, so then, um, so the next step after your diamond. So here's here's my team structure. Like my husband's on one side. I have another emerald coach on another side. Doesn't matter which side you build up to, but when you build up a new diamond on either side, you become a one star diamond. In order, when you start getting into the star diamonds, you get into what is called a qualifying rank, which means that you have to hold that rank for six weeks before you become a life star, lifetime, whatever star diamond. So when I become um, a one star diamond, I will raise up a active diamond who will maintain their diamond rank for a minimum of six weeks. And what that does is that means that you're not going to have somebody like just drop off after their first month of Shakeology is essentially what that means. That means that people need to continually be building up their business and maintaining that rank more than just the cycle that it takes for somebody to get Shakeology for a month. Um, next comes Two Star Diamond. And I would say that Two Star Diamond is one of one of the most important ranks because once you hit two star diamond you actually get to open up a new business center that basically you duplicate yourself so if you have like i have my husband's account signed up and i work his account so i essentially am benefiting from what some people have to wait until they get to two star diamond to do which is to work another account underneath you but you have the opportunity to open up a new business center that you can build up and that can be another one of your diamonds eventually. Um, and then once that account hits two star diamond, you can open up another business center underneath that. Like, so you hear some of these top coaches who are like, I don't even know, like uh, Julie Voris. She's like a, she's, she's a three times superstar diamond, meaning she is 15 star diamond in three of her business centers. Like I can't even fathom, but she's, been doing this basically forever um and she's amazing so that's what that means when you hear that they are like multiple they have multiple cbcs those are um coach business centers and that is those are the those are the business centers that they get to open up once they hit two star diamond um when you hit star diamond you have to have a personal volume of 200 personal volume points at all of the star diamond ranks um, Let's see, what else? The next great thing, oh, I missed something about one star diamond. When you are, when you reach one star diamond, um, for that year, you have the opportunity to be invited to the new leader conference in Los Angeles. Um, there, so you guys have all heard of elite and there's like elite points and there's different ways to get that, which I won't get into, but in order to be invited to the new leader conference, you have to be a one star diamond by, de by December 31st, like through the qualification period. One star diamond through December 31st. You also have to have 10 elite points and there are a bunch of different ways to get that. Um, if you are a one star diamond with 30 elite points, Beachbody will pay for your accommodations and they'll, they'll pay for your hotel room at the new leader conference. Um, and so that is a really great thing to shoot for. Um, Two Star Diamond, again, like I was saying, you get to open that secondary business center. But the other thing that's great is you also get to benefit from um, the Star Diamond bonuses that Beachbody gives out. The Star Diamond bonuses, and let me see if I can find um, this other, um, let's see. No, what am I looking for? Beachbody. Um, not rank. Um, compensation plan. There we go. There's a really great image, and this is actually what I was trying to pull up um, the other this afternoon, today.
Here it is. No, that's YouTube. No, 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 no. Okay, sorry guys. At least we have unlimited time, right? Where is this? Maybe I just need to search PDF. There we go. Okay. Ha. No. Yes, this is what I want. Okay, can everybody see this? This breaks down like the compensation plan, but what I want to show you here, um, and this is actually this, this works. Um, okay, so here you can see the time cycle bonuses. So again, $14 per cycle for emerald, 16 for ruby, 18 for diamond. And again, you cycle, you max out at $18 per cycle all the way up to 10 to 15 star diamond. Um, and again, you cycle when you have 200 on a strong leg and 100 on a weak leg. Um, oh, matching bonus. That's what I also forgot. When you hit ruby, um, Beachbody also gives you, they will match, um, they'll do what's called a matching bonus, which means that you will earn an extra 5% of anything that the coaches in your downline make in your personally coach, sorry, you will earn 5% of the um, paycheck that your personally sponsored coaches in your downline make every week. Um, and for diamond and above, that's 10%. So all of this is designed to help you grow your team and help your team be successful. So if my, you know, if my husband makes, you know, $40 and I'm a Ruby, I'm going to make an extra $4. But if my husband makes $400 in a week and I'm a diamond, I'm going to make $40. In addition to what I make, because that's the 10%, um, matching bonus that Beachbody gives us. And it's not anything that they take away from anybody else. Like that would be a pyramid scheme, which is not what we do, but it's something that Beachbody just gives us. Um, so again, if you are a diamond coach and you have, you know, these are your coaches under you, your active personally sponsored coaches. Um, and one of them makes a hundred dollars. One of them makes $500. One of them makes $200. Um, you, and you add all this up and you take 10% of that as a diamond coach, you're going to make an extra $150, um, in a matching bonus each week as a diamond coach. So what I wanted to get into was this star diamond bonus. So beach body pays out every quarter, um, two star diamonds and above are eligible to receive um, a half a percent of the quarterly, let's see, bonus pool shares half a percent of the total quarterly volume generated. So I think what that means is Beachbody takes a half a percent of their total earnings for the quarter and splits that up among everybody who qualifies as a two-star diamond during that qualification period. Um, so you get an extra bonus, which usually ends up being like anywhere from six to $800 for a quarterly bonus just for being a two-star diamond. Um, when you are a five-star diamond, so then, then the bonus, um, the star diamond bonus goes up um, from there. So you're eligible for a star diamond bonus at two stars, again at five stars, again at 10 stars, and again at 15 stars. But the great thing is when you're up at 15 stars, you get the 15 star bonus, which, and again, like there are much many more two star diamonds than there are 15 star diamonds. So when you hit 15 star, um, Jen, hey, that's okay. Um, we're talking about um, rank, and um, now we've kind of morphed into the compensation plan, but it all ties into rank. So, um, okay. And by the way, Jen, we have Zoom has given us the unlimited time for this call, so we might be here all night. <laughs> um, okay. So, when you get to 15 star diamonds, since there are not very many 15 star diamonds, that very small pool of 15 star diamonds splits that half a percent evenly between however many there are 
I mean, I don't even know how many there are. There be like, rough guess would be like 20, 30, 15 star diamonds. So they split that half a percent amongst themselves that Beachbody sets aside from their current, or from the, the volume, the, uh, the earnings that they make from that quarter. Plus, they also get the half a percent that 10 star diamonds get. They also get the half a percent that's split up between the five star diamonds. And they also get the half a percent that the two star diamonds get. So if you're a 15 star diamond in multiple business centers, like I can't even imagine how much money that would be. Ridiculous. Like ridiculous. The bonus is ridiculous. But Beachbody does that for us. So this is why aiming for these higher ranks is so important. Other next rank is five star diamond. Um, what is great about five star diamond, sorry, I just want to see what was coming up. Um, first of all, you get an invitation to leadership, which is in uh, Las Vegas every, I think August. Um, and that is a really great event. A lot of stuff comes out. That's like when they introduce some new products and things like that. We've just learned that there's going to be the um, fruit punch energized coming out. Um, so anyway, new stuff. There's going to be, I guess, a, a vegan, I think there's going to be a vegan pre-workout coming out, but basically five star and above, they get to learn about all the new stuff before the super Saturday when everybody else learns about it. Um, the thing with five star diamond is you are, that's the minimum qualification for elite. As long as you make all of the elite points, when you're an elite coach, you get a super special table at summit on the floor, which is where I would like to be sitting. So that is one of my goals um, is to be an elite coach, but you have to be a five-star diamond and you have to make all of the elite points, which I think minimum is 110, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me think what else comes with five-star. What it says, because I don't remember. No, I guess that's it. Oh, here's that. Okay. Um, yeah, this just talks about coach rank requirements. Okay. So questions about rank and or compensation plan. Because it's all very much tied in. I'm going to stop sharing my screen unless somebody... Okay. Questions? Christina, I saw you messaged something in the group chat. Maybe that was a long time ago. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Did that, Christine, did that answer your questions? I know you had, had stuff, you had questions. Did I get them all? Okay. Um, does everybody understand what you specifically need to do to get to the first rank that you need to advance to? Jen, I know you hopped on late. Um, so your, Jen, your first rank goal is going to be Emerald. Do you know what you need to do to get there? Okay. No. Okay. So in order to get to Emerald, um, I'm going to go back to this so you can see my screen. Okay. Here you are as an active coach. When you want to get to Emerald, that means that you sign up to active coaches. That's the only thing you have to do. Um, in order to stay an active Emerald, you have to stay active yourself with 50 personal volume points, which is, and I know we talked about this, um, but Shakeology is 90, but um, uh, in order to stay active, you have to basically make a purchase of $50 every month from Beachbody, whether that's Energize or Beach Bars or a three day refresh in some combination to get you to 50 personal volume points. Um, and that so this is what you need to do as um to achieve the emerald rank um bye amber have a great night okay um let's see um christina what is your next rank advancement since you're not in my downline i can't see you <laughs> Um, well, I lost my emerald, so I need that back. Okay. And so you, are you familiar? What, can I ask, what is your, do you have a rank goal right now in mind? 
Um, honestly, no, because I figure like if I just take it like one day at a time, like because part of my thing was like people would ask me like um just about Shakeology or just about the Barlar, and I would focus more on like the challenge packs because I wait a minute, this just like popped. Oh, there we go. Okay the chat just popped like right over your face so I had to move it <laughs> so yeah so like I would fo focus more on like the challenge pack challenge packs but like not everyone obviously you know right away wants Shakeology or you know all that stuff so I took that like from Tony to you know like that it is okay if someone just wants bars or you know because eventually like it'll all intertwine if they do, you know, want both, then that's fine, but it's also okay. So, like, for now, I'm just, like, just let them have something and see. Let them have something and see, like, because that way, too, you're not pushing them either. So, it's not like they're going to scare away and, like, not do anything at all in general. You're giving right. them what they want. It takes some people, it takes people time sometimes. So, yeah, definitely. Um, okay, well, you know, that might be something you want to think about and, and, Find that Josh Coates, it's called Your Push Coach is the name of the podcast. Go find his podcast. And there's only three episodes right now. Like start at number one, listen to one, two, and three. And think about that. Like think about what a push, a stretch goal would be for you. And, you know, even though you may not reach that this year or next year or for the next five years, like you're still going to be aiming for that. And that's going to push you and push your business. Yeah, I definitely do like probably want to hit success club this month like at least like help three people like with something but then again like I'm not like I said pushing it like if someone just wants the bars then fine you could have the bars like mm -hmm. someone just wants the shakes then that's fine too like so I'm pacing it <laughs> but yeah. not really at the same time well and if I can make a suggestion um I think your goal can be separate from the number of people that you help. So if you say, you know, you want to hit success club, but you're not going to push people beyond what they want to buy. Like if somebody ends up just buying bars, find somebody else, you know, yeah. um, because success club is success club is a minimum. Right. Like I'll, I'll say that for this business. Like if you, if you want to build and you want to grow and you want to, you really, really, really want to make an impact and change lives and change your own life, you need to be doing more than the minimum and the minimum is six, yeah. six or five. Yeah. So. Well, that's why too, like I've been keeping a goal, like as connecting with people because I have been getting a lot more interaction like with the Crohn's people and other people like like just now someone just commented on my shake and my story like oh is that for weight loss just asking like you asked me for a reason yeah yeah keep it up okay um Megan any do you know what you need to do to get to your next rank okay oh sorry here there we go go ahead um, yeah, so right now I'm just active. I don't have any coaches okay. under me. So I want to, like, focus on getting Emerald, um, like, by the beginning of next year and then work my way up from there. And hopefully, I would. I mean, I would like, love to get to Diamond by the yeah. end of next year. You can, you can do it. I, I hit Diamond uh, in six months. Um, and I... I don't think I pushed as hard as I could have. So you can definitely do it in a year. Okay. Definitely. Especially since you know, you know what to do. Like I, yeah. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you can definitely, definitely do it in, in a year. Absolutely. And I mean, if you hit success club by the time, you know, in December, like you could be, you could be an emerald in December. You could get your emerald back in December. Okay. Awesome. Anybody else have anything to add? Because it's 9.10 and maybe I can go to bed by 9.30. <laughs> picture, 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 picture. 
Oh, I forgot to do it earlier. Okay, take a picture for your Insta stories. Hold on, let me get mine all set. <laughs> okay, I wish my phone would do this. All right, smile. Do we look cheesy enough? I look super cheesy. Let's try that again. Everybody need a second one. Wait, oh, my hair. Okay, awesome, guys. That was good. Everybody looked great. Okay, well, have a great night. Um, looks like everybody needs to go to bed. <laughs> so we will see you guys next week. Um, I have everybody's goals written down. So um, again, Megan, like you saw this week, hop on next week. We'll talk about goals. Redo it all again. Sound good? Okay. Sounds good. Have a great see night. You people. You too. Thank you. Bye.